What do we sell here? Some crystals. Batteries. Oh. <laughs> oh. I have that effect on people sometimes. Situation update. It's still pissing down with rain. Look, we just stopped at a little riverside here and saw these kids playing. Good morning, guys. I don't know, it's Friday. And I'm only re realizing it's Friday because it's so quiet out here. So I'm at the Khyber Hotel. Just leaving the Khyber Hotel. We're going to Nuristan. Yes. And everybody's been telling me since last year, I have to go to Nuristan, I have to go to Nuristan. Yeah. So finally, I'm going to see what Nuristan is all about. So it's yeah. about a 10 hour journey, right? Yeah, yeah, 10 hours. About 10 hours, that probably means about 14. So yeah. we shall see. Well, this is our vehicle for the day. What kind of vehicle is this? This is Sarocha. A what? This is Sarocha. Sarot? Yeah. Sarocha? Yeah. It's all right. It's a very nice car. It has air conditioning? Yes, yes. It has a very nice AC. What it state troopers is this? Canada state troopers? We're all set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a Toyota. So, yeah. So a long journey ahead. So hopefully we'll make some stops on the way. I've just spent the last two days recovering from my last journey to Panjshir with the Sultan. Uh, that was quite an experience. So for now, it's Nuristan. So join us on the journey. Some views here, guys, look. This is the road to Jalalabad, so I've been on this road many times, but it's very, it's stunning actually. It's always busy. It's a pretty amazing view. Um, it goes on forever, so you've seen it. <laughs> I videoed this before on, on my video, I'm sure, when I went to Torcom last time. Very windy road with lots of tunnels and lots of traffic. I actually just saw three car windscreens up there. I don't know how they would have got there. <laughs> Look at that. Just a reminder how dangerous these roads are. <laughs> <laughs> in, in Afghanistan, like these, these mountain roads everywhere. I have everyone eating some chocolate digestives. How do you like your British biscuit? Thank you, it's so delicious and so <laughs> and good. Nice. You, you like it? Yes, I yes, like it. Yes. What about the German here? You like our British biscuits? German biscuits are better. Uh, I knew you would say that. <laughs> All right, we're leaving. Ooh. <laughs> We're leaving the crispy fast food restaurant. Um, I have my curtain up here. The guys put this up because the sun's blasting in, but it's also quite handy for the checkpoints. <laughs> it's very, very hot. So we have oh, seven hours to go? Nine hours, maybe. Oh, nine hours. hours. Yeah. I thought it was seven. Seven it's or eight hours. It oh. depends on our driver. Oh yes. no, we're okay. Very smooth, <laughs> so no problem. I'm laughing so much because we're, we're camping and I said I needed a pillow. So we just left the place, the restaurant. And look what's on the street. Pillows. I like these ones. Oh, these are hard. Hello. Which one would you like to have? This one or this one? I think this is the best one. Okay. Yeah. Actually, this is okay. Let me see that one. Yeah, the, this one. Apart from lying, lying down and testing it, that's the best I can do. Yeah. What? This is all of this, your one seat. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we can't buy one pillow. Not one? Just yeah, one? Come. This is this one is 500. Okay. 500 is it? No, it's, it's very expensive. Ah, okay. Then yeah. should yeah, I buy? We can buy it 150 and this stuff because he says this is all. Oh, yeah, okay. This, I can't buy a pillow here, I guess. So we'll find another pillow place. Salam alaikum. Pillow issues, pillow issues. We're having a pillow fight here. No? Look, we just stopped at a little riverside here and saw these kids singing. 
How do you say goodbye? Khodai Paman. Khodai Paman. Khodai Paman. Khodai Paman. Khodai Paman. Alright, it's a bit windy here, but we're in Kunar province now. All right, so we just came through Kunar. I didn't take my uh, camera out because uh, there was a lot of Taliban around and uh, we weren't quite sure yet. Just it was so busy because it was Friday. Uh, I'll stop there on the way back through. So uh, we're heading up the mountain now. Just looking at all the houses around about. Uh, all these houses up here. There's houses up in the mountain. I can't even imagine. It's, it's, uh, People walking all the way up the mountain to these houses. Little, little shoppy here. Village. Oh, oh these kids. <laughs> Chickens, little shops. There's not a lot out here, it's quite sparse. But the roads are very bumpy. I'm always amazed at these little villages in the middle of nowhere. It's like an old checkpoint here. Another tiny village here. Places are cold. Look at life. This is just village life. Here. <laughs> She's sitting there, my goodness. I imagine everybody that comes to the shop is just regulars, locals. Just winding our way through the villages here. <laughs> Singy, <laughs> little kitties. Look at these houses up there. It's fish in the water. Water pump. Well. Yeah, the well pump, we call it. They're all over the place, actually. Sengi! <laughs> oh, look at these kitties. Oh. Look at these old wooden houses here. Check that out. Uh, UNICEF spray is clean. I don't know what that means. Everybody's just hanging out in their little shops. There's little kids out playing. Lots of stopping and starting here because I keep seeing things. Hey, smell food. No idea where we are. Hello. <laughs> Surprise look on everybody's face. They're all carrying apple tomatoes actually. Really want to get out and walk around here. It's a little bumpy. This is the most. This might be the most rural, a rural place I've been yet in Afghanistan. I think so far. I think we eat a lot of chicken here. I smell it. You can just smell in the air, chicken. Oh, I 
wonder what people do for work here. I imagine they just work in shops. Maybe fixing houses or stuff. We are gonna go. <laughs> so we just stopped at a gas station here in the middle of nowhere really I don't know we're still in uh, Kunar we're still in Kunar so we're just getting a gas stop up and I'm stretching my legs and I'm so ah I haven't sat that long for a long time I need to stretch I'm so dying on a cup of tea so I don't know where we're going to get a cup of tea we haven't really made that many stops I usually I, I like to make lots of stops and meet locals but hopefully we can do that well we can do that on the way back as I, that's my favorite thing to meet the locals that's what it's all about Senge <laughs> that's the only word I know Senge <laughs> look Polish Polish number plate in the middle of Afghanistan that's your car? Yeah. I've got Poland. Malet. Poland. Poland. <laughs> uh, you live here? In just in the gimmick. Well, uh, yeah. 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 yes. What does he do? What do you do for work? You work? He's a driver from here to Nuristan. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Is everybody drivers? Yeah. All drivers. Yeah, all drivers. Okay, all right. Is it busy? It's very, very good. Here. Ah, good. Yeah. That's good. Good, 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 good. Are you many tourists or? Sailanan delta. Roger, zia chakar tarazi la kandaria nur zia chola zinuristan chakar. This is uh, local tourists came here. Ah, no foreign, no foreigners. Aga foreigner nara galay delta. Razi, delta. Foreigner tourists also. Also, well, that's good. Okay, nice to meet you. Khushal shudan nega. Khushal shivin. Hey kids. <laughs> All right. The nice wee stretch over the legs. Uh, you can't really see anything because it's dark, like pitch dark. So I can't show you where we're pitching the tents. You can see the moon there. It was lightning a couple of minutes ago and it looks like it's going to rain. A big SUV just pulled past and they asked if we wanted to stay and they said no. I would love to have stayed there, honestly. I'm so tired. It took so long to find a place to put the tent. Apparently this is the place where the tent goes. There's a Taliban checkpoint behind. This is apparently where the tourists come. And you'll see it in the morning because you can't see anything right now. I set up my tent in Yes, yes, you can. You can, please. Okay, I am in my tent. So, it's a little dark. So, I can give you a room tour actually so this is my tent actually it's mario's tent i have to do this real quick i we'll have a cup of tea here it's thunder and lightning out here and there's lots of flies so i'm gonna have to be look at the flies um i'm gonna have to be really quick uh so this is uh, it's really hot also so i'm gonna have my cup of tea my <laughs> mario I can, next to mario i'm gonna have my cup of tea down here and put the lights off because of the flies and I will see you in the morning unless I do dinner, I'm not sure Jesus, the flies are crazy okay, good night okay guys, it's raining saw some amazing lightning um, out there and then I managed to go to find a spot to go to take a pee and then it just started I thought it was going over the other way but it's not I'm alright um, so it's pouring rain Hopefully this tent will... Well, Mario said this tent is waterproof. We'll see. I've no idea even what the spot's like because it was dark when we pulled up. All I know is that 
apparently this is where the tourists stay, camp. The Taliban checkpoint is there watching us. They brought us some bread. That's it. Some people drove past, asked us if we wanted to stay with them. They had a nice car. I kind of wish we did. Um, yeah, that's it. So I think Faisal is boiling some potatoes and we're waiting on the rain to stop. So that's it for now. <laughs> I wish I could just walk around in shorts and a t-shirt. It's so hot. So I'll update you soon. Okay guys, we are all in the tent now. We're in Faisal's tent. Yes. Mario still has his head very important equipment on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got potatoes and bread. Yes. And the Taliban give us the bread, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Talibani bread. Talibani bread. Yeah. We're going to have some dinner now. Yeah. And it's still raining a little bit. That's it. <laughs> Goodbye from the tent. Yeah, enjoy, <laughs> enjoy your meal. <laughs> How is it? Very good. Faiz is a good chef. Oh, oh come on. You're the best potato cooker. <laughs> Feeling. <laughs> <laughs> just laughing. <laughs> just, just laughing, yeah? <laughs> my, my, my. <laughs> I can't eat a potato for laughing. And we don't know why. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't like the potato. <laughs> Do you like your potato? Your potato is very good. <laughs> very well cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Situation update. It's still pissing down with rain. It's about oh, half past ten. And I just I keep finding spiders. Look what I just killed a spider here on in Mario's tent. Uh, so I'm all set for the night. I just brushed my teeth. Mario said that this tent will hold the rain. Their tents are already leaking. I think Fights is in the corner. <laughs> They've got the foam, oh, I'll show you in the morning, but they cut the foam that put underneath and put it um, on the top. Oh, funny games in the campsite, here, in, I forget where I am, okay. Good morning from the tent. Oh, uh, so I slept okay, not so bad. It's quarter to seven now, I thought it would be later. Just woke up, it's hot. Let's have a look outside. Remember last night it was dark. Ta-da! Morning views. I need a cup of tea. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. And now guys we have breakfast. So, it was getting stifling hot in there. So, here we are. Somebody, a local brought breakfast. So we have bread. Yes. Is this Taliban bread? No, this it came from home. Homemade bread? Uh, yeah, homemade bread. Yogurt? Yogurt. And tea. Milk tea. Milk tea. Yeah. And honey. There is honey. And honey. But we already have sugar in the tea. Yeah. How did you sleep? Very good. Yes? But the humidity in my tent was too high. And why is that? <laughs> <laughs> the tent was leaking a little bit. I was very lucky in this tent. But this is the morning views here. You really slept well? Yeah, I slept well. But you changed the Yeah, the, the, the there was really foam. Nice. The yeah. foam was on the top of the tents yeah. for the rain. It was like a really bad thunderstorm, but I showed you bits and, bits and pieces of that last night. You can see the Taliban checkpoint up here that were guarding us last night. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat breakfast and get packed up. Hey, you just made a pit stop here for some beautiful views donkey and some little kids out here so the road conditions are really bad <laughs> really bumpy so she doesn't know what to do Senge, are they pashtun here so what do i say you don't know their language but oh you don't know <laughs> No, no, they are uh, they are from they are different ethnic groups. Uh huh. So, so what language do they speak? They have a special language like Pashtun, like uh, you know, Nuristani. This is really it's a kind of Nuristani uh, language. Nuristani. Yeah. So how do you communicate? 
But what language do you talk to them in? They, they talk in Pashto and Dari. Oh, yeah. okay. That's why I the didn't major, know what to say to yeah, that little girl. Pashto. Those little villages over there are so pretty. And down here. Oh, so peaceful. So we're just heading. We're still not in um, Nuristan. We just made a stop. An energy drink stop, actually. But mine was not gassy, so I didn't like it. So I gave it to Milo. And the road is really bad, by the way. Anybody that comes here, you need a good vehicle. And also for camping, I don't know the name of the place where we were. Um, I don't know how to explain where we were. If you wanted to come camping yourself, you can camp there. It's like a little area, you saw it. Um, but just as the Taliban first, the checkpoint there, and they were completely fine. And they said that they would look out for us. They came over to see us and yeah, gave us bread. So I felt, felt perfectly safe and everything. It was just the rain and the thunder and the lightning and all that. I imagine life here in the winter is hard. So I'm uh, looking forward to um, actually going around these villages at some point well, when we get further on and meeting some people. All right, the journey continues. Another little uh, village here. Hi. <laughs> uh, what should I be saying? Senge or? Oh. <laughs> This is a mosque. Yes. Okay guys, so we stopped at this little village here. Tenge! <laughs> the girls. So there's a guy down here. I think he's making bread. I'm not sure. Let's go see. I didn't put my contact lenses in today because uh, I couldn't. <laughs> Make the bread maker. Yes. Salam alaikum. <laughs> ah, this is where he makes the bread in here. This is welcome to our village. Thank you. Uh -huh. Can I have a look? Yes, yes, yes. Very hot. I don't know what this area is for. Perhaps they sit here. There's coals up here. It's a little dark in here. What's in here? Oh, the flower. Okay. Yeah. All right. So he gets the flower in here. How much does does he feed? Is this the only bread maker in town? Uh, 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 he says, yes, I'm the yes. only one. Yes, yes. Oh. Okay. Oh. He says, there is uh, another hotel. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's, your, what's your name? Uh, Mr. Jumagol. Jumagol. His name is Jumagol. Jumagol. Yeah. Jumagol. Emma. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, her name is Emma. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, so guys, look, you can see the flower here. Interesting. Yes, it's really interesting. This is probably the oldest um, little girl here. Hi. <laughs> hey, girls. So cute. They're all running away. Salam. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I scared the little boy. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I have that effect on people sometimes. So he has some cows here and some little cows. Oh, they're babies. Oh, there's the mama cows. The baby cows. Oh. Salam alaikum. <laughs> oh, what you got? A chicken? Uh. What are you? Bye! My little friend! Hi there! You got a little bruiser in your eye there. <laughs> Senge! Hi! Salam alaikum! <laughs> Salam alaikum! <laughs> Wow, you just stop for one minute and everybody comes running out. I'm going to walk around the corner here. <laughs> wow, this is so interesting. Look at these houses up here. 
Uh, Daddy. <laughs> Everybody's running away. Your home? Yeah. Wow. Look at these homes. They're all made from this wood, and I don't know what kind of wood it is. Homes, and they have a little place, most of them for an animal outside, and just lots of children. <laughs> so cute. I'm going to take pictures. All right, we brought some attention here. <laughs> Salam alaikum. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, it's just a look on their faces. It's so sweet. It's very muddy here also. Wash your feet. This is super interesting. Little shop here. I think I'm being followed. All right, let me try and cross this mud. Achina. Salam. Salam alaikum. <laughs> what do we sell here? Some crystals. Batteries. Mm. What did he say? Crystals. We've got crystals here. Just your a general store. Yes. It sells everything. I imagine it's just locals only. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Uh, can you ask him what kind of wood they use around here to build the houses? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is Nachtar. This is this wood called Nachtar. Nachtar. Yeah, this is a local name for that. Nachtar. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Nachter. I'll have to look it up and see what it is in yes, English yeah, form. Yeah. Never heard of it before. But there's so much. There's wood everywhere. I'm going to put this out so that they... You see yourself? <laughs> I flipped the screen out so that they can see themselves. Cute. Now I think the whole village has turned out. It's so sweet, honey. There was nobody. When we came in here, there was like nobody around, and now the whole village has come out to see the spectacle. Wow. It's nice. I love this. I love these places. I love it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Goodbye to the village. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Everybody's shy. Bye bye. I should have asked the guy the name of the village. I don't know what the name of this village is. Do you know the Do you know the name of this village? Gulsalak. 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 This village is called Gulsalak. So we're leaving Gulsalak now. Ooh. And moving on out. <laughs> Everybody's working hard here. These are my favorite places, these kind of villages. Favorite, favorite, favorite.